What's up everyone? It is Mark here from obviously tech.com and youtube.com slash tech tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you how to render your video in 720p HD settings optimized for YouTube in Sony Vegas Pro 11. Now it's very easy and if you're having trouble following the video make sure you pause it as you go along. I won't mind because <laughs> you know I can't do anything about it but um, yes make sure you pause it take your time also make sure you check the description there will be a link there and don't worry it's you know just going to forward you on to a page where all of the details will be listed in list form line by line so you can go through that and read that when you're setting up your Vegas it's very simple alright so let's go what we're going to do is here's our video the first thing I always recommend is you go to file you save as you save your project okay so this is project saved okay and you're gonna save it because if something goes wrong you wanna make sure you've that backed up and also if you want to come back and edit this you wanna make sure that you have it there now saving that is not going to allow you to play the video that's only allowing you to come back into Vegas and edit it. It saves that as a .veg file, which is a Sony Vegas file. For you to be able to play it and upload it online, you have to go to File, Render As. What you're doing now is you're going to, from my point of view, okay, the one I always choose is WMV. Reason being is because it's suitable. If you want to play it on your hard drive, you want to play it on your computer, your TV, WMV is a great setting. The other reason is WMV processes while it uploads to YouTube. So as it's uploading, your video can be processing, saving you time afterwards. So what we're going to do is you're going to see some presets here. You're not going to see these last two because these are my custom ones. So you're going to click on 512 kilobytes per second video and you're going to click customize template. Now this window is going to pop up. The first thing I want you to do is come up the top, erase the name that's up there and put in 720p bam or put in your custom name if you want to call it you know HD render settings whatever you want and make sure you come over here click that little floppy okay you click that floppy you click it like you mean it okay there we go that's gonna save the name and that's a common question how do I change the name so there you go now what you're going to do is need to change your settings to the ones on screen so mode CBR format Windows Media Audio 9.2 now if you don't have 9.2 here you have 8.7 or 10 point whatever um, just make sure you're choosing Windows Media Audio 9.2 now the attributes this is a huge list okay huge 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 I go with 64 48 stereo CBR okay look at it that way ignore the numbers 64 48 stereo CBR bam next we're moving on to the video tab now this is where you're going to get kind of your quality. You need to pay attention here. So mode, again, it's CBR. Format Windows Media Video 9. Again, if you have 8 or 10, just make sure you select the same as me. Okay? Now image size, you're going to go with 1280 by 720. And the as you can see, this will lock it in here because you're not in custom. So this will lock these in. And your pixel should be at 1, your pixel aspect ratio. Now frame rate, um, I go with 30. Okay? Uh, you got PAL and LT NTC there as well, but I go with 30. And that should be already there, 5 seconds per keyframe, that should be the default. And then down here, video smoothness, typically it's about 85, I think. Okay, or maybe 80. What I do, drag it all the way up the top. Okay, it might create a small bit bigger file, but you're going to get a lot better quality. So drag it up to 100. Now, bitrate. This is something that people always, every video, have a problem with. You're going to need to tick internet slash LAN and put in 3M or 5M. I'd say 3M. This is going to keep the video, you know, fairly small, the video size, but also it's going to retain the quality. Now, if you cannot select this, one common problem. If you cannot select this, you make sure your video is CBR, nothing else. It's CBR you've got the same settings as me you come over here it should be there if it's not you can read the description and there will be a frequently asked question section there index summary this is just for notes you can skip that if you want there's nothing big there and then project you're going to say you want the best rendering quality 3d mode this isn't a 3d tutorial so you're just going to leave that out make sure you make sure you rename it like i did and you click that save and then click ok now what this is going to do is it's going to save your template under WMV. So every time you open Vegas, you can come down here, bam, you can select your template, there it is. You can select that, you don't have to go through those settings every time. You can click render, bam. Okay, here comes your render box, your video is going to start rendering out. Now rendering time, 
keep in mind it's going to depend on your computer, how fast it is. It's also going to depend on what programs you've opened, what else you're running. What I do when I'm rendering, I close everything else. No iTunes, no internet, no, you know, no Photoshop, everything. I close it, leave my computer render for an hour or so. Your computer could take 15 minutes, it could take 3 hours. It depends on your computer, it also depends on the length of your project and the amount of effects and transitions, etc. you've put into it. So, remain calm, close everything I say, and just leave your Vegas render, and you know what, go outside, have fun. Anyway guys, this has been my tutorial on how to render your video in Sony Vegas Pro 11 in 720p, optimized for YouTube. If you liked it, please, you know, share the like give that thumbs up it makes me happy and if you really you know really loved it add to favorites that always helps make sure you check out the underbar for all of the details which will be listed and just click that URL and you'll be forwarded over to a page where they'll all be listed okay thank you very much for watching guys really appreciate it I'll see you next time make sure you subscribe if you haven't obviously tech.com also and I'll see you later